Hi kids, welcome to Moya's Orthodox Religious Studies and thank you for joining us. This is Lesson 21. The topic is called Saint Gerasim and the Lion. A long time ago, Saint Gerasim was one of the fathers of the early Christian church. When he was young, he loved studying and was well known but chose to live a life in the desert as a hermit. He became a monk known for his mercy and love. He made many friends, even with animals of all kinds. One day, a lion was making his way through some shrubs when he stepped on a big thorn and hurt his paw. He tried to pull out the thorn, but could not. Finally, the lion went to find Father Gerasim to ask for help. When he arrived at the monastery, all the monks ran away, except for Father Gerasim, who approached the lion and helped him. From that day on, they became friends, and the lion stayed with Father Gerasim and joined the monastery. As he was part of the monastery, the lion was given an obedience to lead the monastery's donkey to the river and back several times a day so that the monastery could have water. The lion loved his peaceful life and obeyed with love, and over time the donkey became his best friend. One day, while the lion rested under a tree and was sleeping, a merchant saw the donkey alone and stole it. When the lion woke up, he saw that the donkey was gone, and had to return to the monastery alone. When the monks saw the lion alone, they all thought he had eaten the donkey. Father Gerasim knew in his heart that the lion was good, but because he was not obedient, he gave the lion a new obedience, to bring water instead of the donkey. The lion accepted his new obedience without rebelling but with humbleness. After months of carrying water, the lion one day saw a merchant with many camels in the distance. At the end of the camels, he saw his best friend, the donkey. The lion was so happy, he ran as fast as he could to his friend. The merchant and those with him were so scared of the lion that they ran far away. The lion then led all the animals back to his friend, Father Gerasim, in the monastery. Upon seeing the lion with the camels and donkey, Father Gerasim was very happy and the other monks were happy too, but they felt sad that they had bad thoughts about the lion. A few days later, the merchant and his sons arrived at the monastery to ask for forgiveness for stealing the donkey. When Father Gerasim appeared before them, they fell at his feet, fully confessing their sin. They knew that the lion taking their camels was a sign from God. After listening to them and forgiving them, Father Gerasim gave them back their camels, told them to go in peace and never to take anything that was not theirs. The lion was sitting next to Father Gerasim as he was speaking and they knew that this holy man spoke the truth and was God's servant. So they vowed to live good lives and never stole anything again. Because the lion was wrongly accused, Father Gerasim freed him from his duties and the lion went back into the wilderness. The lion still remained loyal to his friend and visited St. Gerasim once a week for the rest of his life. From the life of St. Gerasim, we should learn a few things. Never take anything that is not yours. The loyalty shown by the lion is something we must all learn from. We should know that justice always wins, because God will always show the truth in the end. This also means we shouldn't complain if someone accuses us of something, but stay kind and be humble and know that God 
will never abandon us.